right EO, right EO. There's my paints mixed up nicely. I'll double check the consistency again as I go along. I've got this lovely um, 20 by 25 canvas, a little gallery wrapped canvas, ideal to give us a gift. So we're all good to go. Let's do this. I think I'll do the wiggles pour that I love doing, which is literally wiggling your paint on the canvas. That could be a little bit thinner, but um, I'm going to try it like this today. Just wiggle it on. So that is the pear, which is a lovely colour. Pear. And then I will go the warm red. What was that? Yeah, pear. It's called pear. That one is a little bit thick, so I'm going to add a little bit more pouring medium to that. Or you can add a little bit of water if you so choose. Not too much water though, because it will break down the polymers in your paints or something. It'll break down the paint. So I might do with this, literally wiggle it again. I'm gonna add some water to this one, I think, because this one seems very thick when I've got some of the paint out of it. So that's what I say, you can never judge it that, you know, different paints require a little bit extra. I'm just adding a trickle of water in there. I don't want to break the, don't want it to thin it down too much. That's beautiful. Okie doke. So I'll go for the purple now and this seems a little bit thick so again I will add a trickle of water just to get my I'm used to using bigger cups than these because I prolific painter I paint every day or I might paint all day and then have a week off but um, that seems really just right that a go with a trickle trickle in here. Radio. And then I will go over it with white if I need to add a bit of um, a bit of flu a bit more to that, just a tickle. Like I say, when you're used to doing it in a certain size cup and with your paints, um, you just get used to you know what you know you'll need yourself through um, just through consistency, persistence and consistency. Consistent, or is it persistence? <laughs> Whatever, radio. This is literally just a very easy wiggle pour that you can do if it's your first time or with your children, probably over five would be um, probably a little better to do with an over five year old, I think. Righty, what I'm gonna do here is just a very gentle tilt. Now, because I've got these paints quite thick today, the tilt will take a little while. So I'll speed this process up for you. The edge at this point in time because usually your paint will end up over the edge or you can simply um, <coughs> paint the side of your canvas separate <coughs> oh dear <coughs> excuse me so i've got the the cool blue now so let's see how this goes just a little <coughs> fine line will be enough i believe maybe could have done that a little bit dinner but we will see we'll see where we're at with that I'm going to use a piece of soft plastic and I'm going to just drop the very tip 
put my plastic in that blue and then bring it towards you nice and slow. And already, oh my goodness, look at those cells popping up. See, no Floetrol, no silicone. Just dip the tip of your paint, of your soft plastic file divider. Slowly, slowly draw it to you. Wow, wow, wow. Just wipe off your plastic file divider or whatever you're using to swipe, wipe it off each time so as the paints don't muddy. This is a nice easy technique as well to do like an um, abstract landscape um, piece. I'll put my paints over there to keep them out of my clumsy hands. Just nice and slow, Just you're just basically running that top blue over the other colours to create that nice wow, wow, wow. I need to bring you down to see this. What wonderful effects without any silicone and flow troll. Rightio. That is so stunning if that's the look that you're after. And of course you could do certainly do Dutch pours and ring pours oh, uh, all sorts with this this is just probably the hardest to get cells for people tell me all the time can't get cells I want to get cells but you can certainly use this paint for every technique just give it a bit of a heat That's all it will need. Now let's give it the balloon kiss test. Kiss for kiss, kiss pouring medium. Let's give it its namesake. So I've got the balloon, just a no an ordinary kid's balloon, get from uh, any discount store. Put the belly button of the balloon in between your first and, oh, is it your second and third finger? Oh no, because that's a thumb. Anyway, <laughs> let's. Um, Forget the tip. Oh wow, look at that. You can certainly use that to kiss straight onto a card or another canvas. Um, there's your, your Christmas cards for sure. I'll come along and embellish that a little bit further with my mini balloon. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow, wow, wow. How wonderful is this? Oh wow. Magnificent, Magnific so I'm going to come along, this is just a balloon that I've put a bit of water in, I don't ever go bigger than this with water because I've ended up with it all over my canvas so let me just give it a little dip in there and then I'm going to push, kiss it in there and it just creates a little bit more intricate pedal, pedal effects which <laughs> botanical effects made with a balloon, how good is that? I'm going to just roll it off the edge to see how we go with balloon rolls and it works perfectly. Oh, look at that. So I don't want to get rid of all those lovely effects in there, but it's, it's kind of nice to frame this little canvas. You have to be happy with that. That has worked out beautiful and I do not want to change I'm just gonna leave that to dry now but look at that effect that is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous yes absolutely thrilled with the results of these hope you like it too hopefully this uh, new pouring medium I'm using will be available very very soon just giving you a sneak peek of what we've got to look forward to so I will say uh, bye for now. Please take care, you lovelies, and enjoy your art journey.